Should I hold them like this? Very fancy reveal. Hey everyone, I'm Olga and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna be reviewing my Manolo Blanix flats. Let's get started. I got this pair about a year and a half-ish ago from Sex Fifth Avenue. I noticed that this particular style in grey and black goes on sale quite frequently and as far as I can remember you can save up to $300 I think on these, which is pretty great considering that it's a luxury purchase. This is at least how much I saved, two or three hundred. Also I got a really nice cashback on on this via Rakuten. Honestly, Rakuten has been my go-to for at least two years. Every time I shop, I make sure to use Rakuten to get that cash back and it really adds up, you guys. If you also want to get cash back every time you shop, I will leave my referral link in the description down below for you. If you sign up for Rakuten using my link, you will get a $10 bonus after making a qualified purchase of $25 or more. And of course, on top of that, you will now have access to tons of others cashback deals, which is pretty amazing. And you know what? It is especially amazing when you shop at such stores as, for example, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, Bergdorf Goodman or Bloomingdale's. I personally earned as much as 15% cashback shopping at some of these, which is pretty fantastic considering the price tags. Being that some of the luxury items never actually go on sale, it is pretty great to be able to receive some of that money back via Rakuten. Again, I will leave my referral link in the description below if you are interested. But back to the shoes. They came in this white Manolo Blanding box. The lid looks kind of yellowish. I guess it is an old box or something, but it doesn't really bother me, honestly, because the important thing is inside, right? It also includes two dust bags for each shoe, which is pretty great. I love dust bags, but let's take the shoes out, shall we? I really love how these shoes look in grey. There is something special about the combination of this uh, greyish, silverish setting and uh, the shimmery buckles. I love it. Grey is also a very neutral color, which means that these shoes will pair well with a whole lot of different outfits, so they're very versatile. Speaking of satin, it's a very gentle material, which means that I try to be as careful as possible with these, which didn't prevent me from tripping over my printer's wire on the very first day I tried them on at home. No damage was done, luckily, but, you know, it got me nervous for a moment. Let's talk about size now. I normally wear size 9 or 9.5, which is equal to 39 or 39.5. I got these in uh, size 39 and a half. I ordered these online and I didn't try them on in the store prior purchasing them, so I was kinda nervous when they arrived because, you know, sizing can be tricky when it comes to designer footwear. And also I simply hate going through the whole return process. Luckily they fit me perfectly. If I went a size up, for example, I think that they would be too big. Speaking of comfortability, I didn't find these very comfortable, to be perfectly honest with you. I only wore them once though, so maybe they will become more wearable over time. My main problem was that my toes started to hurt one and a half, two hours in of wearing these shoes. And I didn't even do much walking. All I did was going to a restaurant and then to Whole Foods by car. So I definitely wouldn't wear them for the whole day, unless, as I said, they would stretch over time and uh, become more comfortable. I have to mention here that I have what is called a Greek type of foot, I think, and in my opinion this is the reason that uh, makes it uncomfortable for me to wear any type of pointy shoe, which doesn't prevent me from wearing them, because they're so pretty. By the way, let me know in the comments down below if you also have a, a Greek type of foot and if it makes wearing 
pointy shoes uncomfortable for you as well? I will be really interested to know. Somehow I buy a lot of pointy shoes though, because they look so elegant, I just can't help but love them. What all you do for the sake of beauty. I'm excited and dreaded to wear them again, because on the one hand they are so beautiful, but on the other hand I know it's gonna hurt. You would probably say that I had to size up or go at least a half size up with this, but believe me when I say that I think that I made the right choice because I am pretty sure that if I went a size up or even a half size up, I'm pretty sure they would be too loose on my feet. They don't fit snug on my feet as well, which is what makes me so sure that I made the right choice by getting them in size 39 and a half. I can't speak much about wear and tear though, because as I mentioned before, I only wore them once and honestly I'm not sure when I'll get a chance to wear them again, but when I do I will uh, make a follow-up video. I didn't take this to the shoe hospital to apply any protection on the soles, because I thought it would ruin their elegant look. So I do can show you how the soles look like after only one wear, but keep in mind that it was a really light wear, because as I mentioned, uh, my husband and I only went to a restaurant and then to Whole Foods by car. So this is it for today's video guys, I hope you liked it. If so, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.